Hello everybody, so welcome back to my channel. This is Tan Tan here. And following my Studio Series 86 line, I'm gonna bring you the actual the first Studio Series 86. This is Transformer Studio Series 86 01 Jazz. Of course, from the Transformer the movie from 1986. And I'm really excited about this figures right here. Because that he will be the complete of the my Autobot team. Because like I said, Earthrise, we have uh, Optimus, we have Anhai, we have Ratchet, we have Bumblebee, but there is no Earthrise Jazz, so I'm really glad that they did the Studio Series version with him. So now let's begin. So here we have Jazz in his vehicle mode, and of course this is the Earth mode, not the Cybertronian mode. And this is the sport car that we have all known him for to become with the number 14 onto the sides of the door. And of course this main color theme is still white with some red and blue highlight, the Autobot logos on the front and of course they're painted so that is really nice the painted are clean and i enjoy the highlight of him onto the front section of the car as well you got some headlights and which is really impressive i enjoy this shade of colors it reminds me of the iphone 12. and then we got some red highlight underneath as well uh, the silver front is painted and i enjoy that i'm surprised at how many paints this guy got and then uh, if you look closely at the clear blue windshield and windows you can see a lot of lines detail there which is really interesting i enjoy that details and of course there's still this massive panel lining opportunities for if you for people that prefer their transformer panel lined i know that i have said that i want to panel line my transformer a while ago but i'm still too lazy for that and there's a hole here so you can plug in his gun so that i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna bring it his gun right now so the gun this is only a white piece of plastic with silver painted on it and you can just easy snap it plug it here and then yeah weapon storage to me that's fine and if you move on to the wheels they are painted which is really nice and then we have number 14 and move on to the back and there's nothing too much to say about here and except for that back part of the which is going to be the robot feet and it is painted in silver the same color as the front so that is really nice and now let's get to some size comparison so here we have the two studio series version of jazz and they are quite on the similar size, except for that the G1 Jazz is a little bit bigger than the 07 Jazz. Yeah, that is the only thing I can say about him. And of course, it's wider because of the back section of the car. So yeah, quite a, a little bit bigger guy, but then same, they're still the sports car. Here we have some size comparison between Jazz and Optimus Prime. And in my personal opinion, the scale of the vehicle mode uh, is a little bit off here because I think that Prime should be a, a lot more bigger than Jazz. But nevertheless, they still look great together. So now let's move on. And finally, we have Jazz next to Bumblebee and Ironhide. And I must say the scaling here is better than the scaling with Jazz and Optimus. And now let's get to transformation. To begin with transformation, first off, Take the doors out and then you can bring this arm section down and then you can start clipping out the backpack and this will be the leg and to for the leg you simply just split them in half and then simply bring them out like that and there's this, this connector over here And then bring the feet out and you can start rotating this section out and that is done and you're just going to repeat the same thing with the other leg and now for the se this section simply swing this up to reveal the arms and bring it down and you can flip out the hands just like that And then for this front section here, bring it down and you can start bringing this whole section down. And you can bring this section down. And at this point, bring the head up.
then you can start rotating this is this is a really nice gimmick so you rotate once remove the stomach and then you rotate twice just like that and now you're gonna clip this together and at this point you would want to bring this whole section it's a z connection like that and collapse this in and fold in the two doors and fold in like that and we're done finished transforming jazz i think this is quite a, an easy yet satisfying transformation i really enjoyed the stomach the torso section i enjoyed that mechanism and at this mode you can see more paint applies onto this guy and I really dig him. This is one uh, of the few figures that I truly enjoy handling for the first time. So yeah, now let's get to the details of him. So to begin with the details, of course you cannot oversee the face sculpt. You still got that visor and the painted mouth section is really nice. It's a bright silver. And to in, in my opinion, this, is, this still carries the personality of this guy. And I truly enjoy it. The mouth section is really pops up to see this guy is a good kind of a hip hop -y guys and I enjoyed it and of course you still got that nice details of the, over the car I guess it's bring out the whole car hood but the details the highlight I see, uh, is the stomach as you can see this is whole section is painted silver and it's really nice you got some painted blue lines onto the waist and of course you still got that painted blue streak on the torso which is really nice now moving down to the leg the leg is heavily painted as you can see a lot of silver paint here highlight this guy details and I enjoyed it I absolutely enjoy this kind of detailing on this guys and then that, that will be it if you move to the backpack and yeah this is kind of a backpack but then this is a must-have thing because like with this transformation and the the proportion of the slick robot mode so I think that this is can be avoided so yeah anyway and this section is hollow but then again that is due to the transformation gimmick of this figure so we cannot complain too much about that and of course at this mode here you can still store his gun onto his back by just simply plugging it in like that another weapon storage is fine and of course you can hold his gun by his hand that is that will be it so for some size comparison we have jazz here next to studio series 49 bumblebee and the studio series jazz as you can see they are the size of a deluxe but then jazz seems to be the tallest one around here but not that much so I mean displaying on the case they still look great together and now bring in some other guys and so now here we have Jazz next to Bumblebee and Ironhide and the scalings are quite ridiculous here because they are all are deluxe class figures but then as you can see Ironhide is the tallest one and Jazz is the middle and then we have Bumblebee but I mean scaling wisely they still look great together here we have Jazz next to Optimus and I mean the scaling here are really nice, I enjoy this scale. Articulation wise, we begin with the head, you can look up and down a little bit, do a full 360. His arm can swing out and do a full rotation. He got a bicep swivel and 90 degrees elbow bend. The hands. It's unfortunately this is this transformer hand that I hate. You got a waist swivel, the kick to the front and the kick to the back. The split is quite limited. Uh, and you got a thigh swivel which is kind of tight. This is the bend of the knee. It is kind of great. And you got a toe movement and you got a pivot. Articulation wise, this guy is decent for Deluxe, so I would highly recommend this guy as a final add-on to your collection. I enjoy playing with him, I enjoy handling him, and he looks great to the rest of the cast. And if you looks like if you are looking for to do a comparison between the O and new G1 and versus the O7 team, now you have the opportunity to do that. And so that will be it for today, guys. Let me know what you think of this guy in the comment section below, and be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you are new, and also share this video. Follow me on Instagram, that is where I do most of my updates. And of course, if you feel like you can help me with the future figure, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. So that will be it for today, guys. Turn on out.